XL Energy says it fixed the pipe leak at its nuclear power plant in Monticello and will reopen it soon. In November, at least 400,000 gallons of water containing radioactive tritium leached from the plant. The company says that it never reached the Mississippi River or contaminated drinking water. The company says it's cleaned up about one-third of the leak. But what exactly is tritium, and when is it a health concern? That's a good question for WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell. To first understand tritium, let's take it back to chemistry class. Tritium, we would not see it directly on the periodic table. What we would look at is hydrogen up here. So tritium is an isotope of hydrogen. Think about a car. Hydrogen would be like the model of the car. The tritium would be like, oh, you've added extra you know, features to it, like you've got a sunroof and a you know, fancy stereo system or something like that. Zach Mensinger is an associate professor of chemistry at Metropolitan State University. What is tritium? So it can occur naturally in the environment. It's basically incoming cosmic rays can hit um, nitrogen molecules and then sort of break off pieces of those nitrogen molecules in a way that forms tritium. Though it can be a gas, the radioactive element is most commonly found in the form of water. Is tritium found in any sort of consumer products that we see every day? Yeah, so things um, that basically we want to have sort of glow on their own, watch dials, things like that, that have kind of little pieces of them that will kind of um, show up at night, um, gun sites, things like that, exit signs, those can all utilize tritium as that source to basically activate those phosphors to give off that sort of green luminescent glow. Nuclear power plants also create tritium as a byproduct of producing nuclear energy. So how harmful is it to humans? The old saying is the dose makes the poison with all these kind of things, very small amounts. It would probably be pretty unlikely to, you know, be in your body long enough and kind of have enough of it there to do any kind of damage. According to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, our annual dose of radiation comes 50% from natural radiation from the outdoors and sun, 48% from medical procedures, 2% from products or air travel, and less than 1% from nuclear power generation. Sometimes these uh, radioactive elements can sort of go through one decay process and actually decay into something else that is radioactive. But in this case, that tritium pretty quickly um, is going to decompose into things that are not super um, harmful or concerning. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The health department says that tritium can't travel far by air and it is too weak to go through skin. So exposure is more likely from swallowing contaminated water. However, there is no evidence that the leak has reached private wells or public drinking water. If you have a good question for Kirsten, you can email her by visiting wcco.com links.